Hey guys, welcome back to Slate Beat. I'm your host, Samantha here, and this is my next guest. Do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, I'm Mila McCoy. Um, so what do you what do you do, Mila? Uh, well, I'm an actress. I'm a Russian actress in Dallas, Texas. Ooh. And I'm also a mom. I probably have mom first, and then, and then I'm an actress. <laughs> mom, mom first. <laughs> All right, so we have a little, uh, I have a couple questions for you to answer. So as you already said, you grew up, you were born and grew up in Russia, right? Yes. And you decided to move here after college. So how did you decide to do that, move away from everything you know, your family? Oh, boy. Well, the tricky part is I didn't plan to move in first. Uh, what happened is um, my uh, St. Petersburg University mm-hmm. and the uh, University of Oklahoma, they had exchange program. Oh. So at 17, I decided I'm not going to be an actress. So I didn't have connections. Uh, honestly, I didn't have much uh, self-esteem either to be an actress, to go somewhere in Moscow, St. Petersburg, uh, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. Anyway, I did go to St. Petersburg, but I, I went for public relations. So I came to Oklahoma as an exchange student, and then um, I ended up coming back. And it was tough. It was really tough. Um, You know, you think it's just a language, but it's a whole culture. People are different. And I always thought, like, Americans and Russians, we kind of alike, and we are not. We're so different. (laughs) But it's it's fun. 13 years here, I'm kind of... I think I'm finally... Once I figure out the accent, I think I can really pretend I'm an American. We'll (laughs) see what happens. I... That's impressive. And you already said that you were acting at a very early age and then you stopped doing it. Yes, you know, when I was around five, um, I pretty much walked into and signed myself up. <laughs> <laughs> we lived uh, in a very tiny, tiny place. It was a temporary living. We lived actually like in trailers type. Wow. Um, my dad, when I was about one years old, uh, he moved to north. I was born in Chelyabinsk so region and Siemens, pretty small town. But it was a bad opportunity for my family. So my yeah. mom stayed with three kids. Wow. I was one, my sister was around five, and my brother was around nine. He was my babysitter. And uh, he was amazing, amazing. Um, uh, but, you know, I, I can't imagine how tough it, it was. Even my mom had family there. My dad was uh, north. Mm-hmm. They did travel. It's like two days by train wow. on one side. So they traveled and visited each other. My mom went there several times. She really liked it there because, you know, it was the um, 1980s. And it wasn't much, you know, not much food. Mm-hmm. We, we had some stuff in uh, stores. It wasn't as bad as 90s. But uh, when my mom came to North, she was amazed at how the choices of, like, it was uh, different breads and it was, so, it was just so, so much, yeah. uh, su- such a strong contrast. So we moved there. And um, so we lived in this temporary living. It was plan was go there, make money, come back. Mm -hmm. And we never came back. It's just like me in America. Uh, But, you know, we had in the middle of our little town, we had this little club, and it was uh, movies there, and it was uh, different gatherings, and also it was um, some classes, acting classes. I just worked there. It was fun. Yeah, Yeah, I loved it. But, yeah, at 17, you know, I I continued that, doing just local plays, and um, just whatever. You know, we did uh, different shows for kids. It was Mm -hmm. fun. I was... Most of the time, I was a witch. I love <laughs> witches, it's my favorite. But um, yeah, at some point, I just made a choice, like, I want something stable, you know? Yeah. I still want something stable, but uh, <laughs> I feel like once you figure out you're an actor, it doesn't matter how much you try to escape it. It just, it'll slide back. It doesn't matter if you're 60 or 16. And, and now you have over 27 acting credits on IMDb. And I you, do. And you do. And you do produce, producing too, right? I did produce. It was actually by an accident. Uh, um, what happened is uh, f- I, I asked a friend of mine. We came across a really cool scene. And uh, a friend of mine said, yeah, I'll film it. And we're like, yeah, let's film it. Um, well, what if... We'll bring this really cool actor also. Oh, yeah, we'll add some layers. Well, uh, what if? We, and that slowly got uh, from some like demo reel stuff and built into a short film. And I ended up doing makeup, uh, like pretty much my hair. The other guy will, was bold, so it was easy. <laughs> um, wardrobe. And we ended up with some neat short film. It was an experience, I can tell you that. Uh, I've learned magic of editing. I didn't edit myself. The DP and the director was doing that. But I could be next to him, and we were trying to figure out, okay, what's the best to put together? And it's amazing. That was a great experience for an actress. Yeah, for sure. 
yeah i mean anybody who can dabble in the behind the scenes i feel like makes it such a better actress yeah. but you know it's amazing in, in editing you can kill good acting you can make somebody actually look really good uh i mean you have to give the editor something yeah but it's it's interesting how s as an actor you're so worried about your part you want to nail it of course that's great with such perfectionist but it's such a uh, you know puzzle and also there's so many things involved so many things has to be right yeah. sound and you know obviously a footage actors should do it but uh, there's so many other important components and sometimes actors don't know about that that is why it's so great to be forced into producing yeah. sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> because you get to see a completely different realm. I The first time I ever stepped yeah. behind the scenes, I was like, whoa. <laughs> what? Whoa. <laughs> Nobody told me about that. So before you came on, we played the trailer for a short film you did called A Heart That Forgives. Oh, yes. And you played Dr. Freeman. I played a doctor. I didn't kill anyone. I <laughs> saved a life. Whoa. Yay. So how did you get involved with that project? I just went to audition and uh, they decided... Uh, to give me the role i'm so thankful yeah, wow that well, was a fun project can you can you tell us what it's about well uh how to uh, you know it's a, a story about different people you know who struggles and trying to figure out their ways I, I had a really small supporting part there uh my role was just to save this uh, one of the uh, main characters and my another dear friend uh, raymond king was another doctor and he was saving another main character but it's it's pretty much about people figure out uh, it's it's a faith ba based okay, film yeah so it, it's it is uh, based on you know believe in God and uh, have the strength and believe what you should uh, should do what you're supposed to do it's a really neat film I have quite a few friends there so you have to watch it we'll it's, have to it's, watch it it's, it's really cool the title really is a heart cool. that forgives if you didn't yes. if you missed that and so of course it's about you know learning about about forgiveness well wow. so yeah hard sometimes for us to do so I have kind of a question for you. For somebody that's wanting to get into acting and television, would you recommend them go to like an acting school or just jump in and do it themselves? You know, that's a tough one. Um, I think I really, uh, it's like for me to if go back, I would love, love to go to college. I feel like that's a privilege when you're really young and you can, you have that time, you get a degree anyway so you can get on something you really love. Uh, when I was coming back to acting, I, I was considering to uh, get into OU, but uh, they asked me actually to do all these other courses. I didn't need, I already had bachelor in public relations. So I, I, th I thought, okay, I already have two jobs. Uh, I can spend that money, get another one, and go and do all these classes I don't need, uh, I already had, uh, just to get acting. Or I can go directly to, and you know, get into acting classes yeah uh, like uh, studios or casting directors so that's that's what I did and uh, I started in Oklahoma and it's amazing amazing uh, acting community there yeah great casting directors you know great um, great opportunities to learn and to audition and then I moved here after about seven years in Oklahoma I moved in in Dallas and it's much bigger for market sure, for yeah. me with my Russian accent <laughs> and uh, but I feel like I, I personally, I think maybe when I'm like 90, <laughs> I want to graduate. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to get together and get in projects, but you still can do it on the, without getting really a degree. At the same time, it, you have to figure out what you want to do. I, at 18, I feel like sometimes if you're really talented and you took all the right classes and you have the energy, right energy, you can go to LA, you probably have a bigger chance to break into the industry. You get a good manager and hopefully agent. When you older it's much harder even when you're very very talented they have a strong resume yeah. i know people struggle to find agencies with very good resumes very strong like these tv shows and so i don't know i i personally think you should have bachelor degree just for yourself for education yeah. but it, you see people doing wonderful careers without having that for sure yeah so i just i feel like you have to listen it, it depends on the inside, person in person yes yeah. and but when I'm 90, I'm going to, you know, I'm going <laughs> to. It's going to happen one day. Gonna, yes, one day. <laughs> <laughs> so what what projects do you have coming up that we might not know Ooh. about? Well, <laughs> let's see. What can I talk about? Let's start with that. <laughs> I just got it. Um, you know, 2017 was so kind to me. Uh, 2016 was experience. I call it an experience. <laughs> uh, lots of great things happened last year. But uh, this year I worked 
quite a few on a few projects. I did something in February. I'm so proud of. Uh, it's a short film. Uh, you know, they brought a really this Fox brought really amazing uh, feature, uh, big script, full script, but they decided to produce a short film. Uh, you know, usually do that to raise some money, something bigger, and they did an outstanding job. They went an extra mile to make it SAG. They made sure people got paid, fed. Everything was so right on set. I had a really cool role. I was a bad guy. I Ooh. love being bad guys. Um, I like to be doctors too. And uh, <laughs> um, But I had uh, my own uh, bodyguard. I had my own Ooh. bad guys with big guns. And uh, I think it was about four-day production uh, for the whole short film. I was uh, two days there. And it was hard to leave because it's just everybody was so nice and uh, everybody knew what they were doing and loved what they do. And the script was so cool and funny. And I don't do funny stuff. I usually, you know, <laughs> Russians, some, some so how serious. Russians are not, you know, don't get much uh, cast in funny stuff. But um, I cannot say much about it. The, so sad. I got a note for yesterday, like a couple of days ago, from a director who said it's almost done. They just moved it in, uh, you know, for music, a sound, and soon I will be able to share. All right. But yeah. Yes. So, where are you on social media? Can we find you so we can hear more about this? Facebook. Film? I'm on Facebook. Who else on Facebook? Everyone. <laughs> Every everybody. I'm on everywhere except Twitter. I'm trying to figure out Twitter. One day I will. Probably by ninety <laughs> when I graduate. Awesome. So yeah, that's all the questions I've got for you, but thank you for being on my show. Thank you for inviting and I'm, me. I'm really glad that you got to be on the last one. Yeah. Oh, yes. Russians, awesome. Like that. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, so thank you so much. And I really am looking forward to seeing that film you're talking about. Thank you. So I can't will, talk about sure it yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. Because it's a secret. It's a secret. Shh. So for y'all guys, our ne my next segment is a really exciting segment, a really special segment. And I hope you enjoy it, but you gotta wait because it's a secret. Shh. So thank you, Mila, for being on my show. Thank you so much, Samantha. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to Perfect. Meet you. Awesome. So we will see you after a quick break with my next segment. <laughs> 